Hello there beautiful people and welcome back again to our channel. For people that don't know, my name is Anas, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment and I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back and you already know if you have any questions as well, make sure to drop them below, same as the over 100 videos I made now on Shopify customization. And if you are a subscriber more than a year ago, then you should have already witnessed that, right? I made over 100 videos when it comes to Shopify customization. They were mostly requests from people. Subscribers, I mean, and some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. And even though they are not subscribers, I still make the video for them. I do actually make the video for them and I posted it and I don't have any idea how they keep track what I post and what <laughs> I don't know how they keep track when I'm gonna post their videos but they actually see it and they reply thank you but they're not subscribers but anyway here I am again back again with another video which is how to remove the underlines from the product title on the hover I mean on the product cards and this is again a request from one of subscribers I know he is because he requested multiple videos and he commented on multiple videos so there is no way you cannot be a subscriber. And it depends on the request. If it's easier, I do actually reply to you directly how to do it. Then after that, I make the video for other people that have the same request. Uh, in his case, I did the same. I did provide them with the call to do this, but later for people that have, because I know questions keep repeating, the requests keep repeating. So instead of like answering each person, I'll make a video. Anyone has the same question, you are watching it now. Same as you're doing now, so right? And without anyone talking, let's just get to and show you how to remove the underlines on the hover, on the product title, on the product cards, on your Shopify store. As you can see, this is the Shopify dashboard. I have here the down team, and this is where I do demonstration. I mean, in the videos you are watching right now, I will do demonstration in down team. But if I scroll down in here, I have every other free, uh, most used ones, teams I mean on Shopify which is stage sense refresh spotlight and trade and if you are wondering why is that because I do actually try each one of my tricks behind the scenes on each one of these teams in here so even if you're not using down team using one of these it should work for you just fine because I do actually try them behind the scenes on each one of these and I do that so I don't bore people on the video <laughs> in the video I just do it on down team because it's the most requested one Plus, it's the most used one. And with that out of the way, let's just get to it because I have to say this so for people so they can have a peace of mind. So they always know that even if not, they are not using down, which is the one I used the demonstration, it should work for them just fine. Even if it didn't, just drop me a comment. I will be happy to help you out. And again, let's just quit talking and show you how to remove these. Let me scroll down these, these. Yeah. Once you see, once I, uh, I hover over the title, it shows an underline. It doesn't look very good, as you can see. So in this video, I will show you how to remove it, how to remove these underlines on the hover. Once you hover over the title, it will not show the underlines. And by the way, if you are interested in adding a search bar like this, instead of search icon, as well as the moving announcement bar with gradient color, as well as a link, if I click on it, it's gonna redirect me where we were right now, as you can see, uh, and custom search bar in any section on your Shopify store, a lot more make sure to check out the channel so we will keep this page open do the trick come back and see it in action so get back to the shopify dashboard obviously then click on the three dots on left of customize and click on edit code and it will take you to the code editor for your shopify team and use the search bar because we're gonna need to find the specific file instead of looking at the file like this use the search bar and type in team dot liquid just like you see team dot liquid click on it bunch of code will show up here no worries just scroll all the way down to the bottom of the file and you will see it says forward slash body as you can see forward slash body this is the section you need to find because we need to paste in some code above and before forward slash body but there is no space in here right to get that space simply click front of the thing above forward slash body click like this then hit enter on your keyboard and here we go we have a completely new line nothing on it because as i said we need to paste in some code in here and in order to get the code you need to hire a developer and pay him then wait 24 hours then he get back to you with the code then try it see if it works no need no need with with me no need just scroll down the description box and you will see a link name it as code simply click on it and it will take you to this page right here where you're gonna see a very short code that will do the trick as you can see in this code is completely free no pay please no share please nothing like that 
just a like button if this video helped you out. And you might see some ads in the corners here. That's not me. This is not my website. I just using it to share the code and I'm going to change it in soon in the future. So obviously select the whole thing, make sure to select the whole thing, then right click, copy and get back in here and paste it above and before forward slash body. Otherwise it will not work. So paste it in here, then get back, click on the save button, wait for a couple of seconds. It's saved now. Let's just get back to Shopify store. And now it's still, there is still the underlines. Let's just reload the page and see. If I hover over it, as you can see, there is no more underlines as you can see. If I moved like this, the cursor, no more underline as you can see. And that's how you move the remove, mat move, remove or delete the underlines from the product title on the product cards on your Shopify store. And if you have any questions, make sure to drop them below. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.